Today we have these cheap, yet visually interesting gaming earbuds. These are the Goodman's Universal Gaming Earbuds that are compatible with Xbox One Series X and S, PS4, PS5, Nintendo Switch, PC laptop, mobile devices and they cost as little as £10. Although we did get them a lot cheaper, £3 in fact from our local b home store that is a store here within the UK. Yeah, cheap as chips. So inside the box, there is a... Oh, what on earth is this? What? Why Why on earth would you bag up and protect a crappy little user manual? Have you ever seen that? I've never known a company to want to cover up an instruction manual. What a wasted expense. Anywho, everything comes fairly well packaged. The earbuds, to be honest, although they are quite light, they do look extremely bulky. They have that super bright red ABS plastic gated design with silicone bladed ear supports placed upon them as well as those small dual ridge ear tips fitted to help hold them in place when they're in your ears which they do quite adequately. The attached cable is a braided cable, it has that well positioned volume control module that has that volume slider switch, a single pin microphone and a play pause call answer button. We have a gold plated 3.5mm connection to the opposite end and we do get three sets of spare different sized super bright red ear tips and lastly there is that bendable microphone boom arm that you can go ahead and insert within that left hand driver unit. Okay the boom arm is not that lengthy but overall that design well it is rather basic and pretty much cheap looking. But how do they sound? Well, we have been using these for the past couple of days. Guys, you can actually use the headset should you wish without that boom arm in place. You can use it for training and different types of exercises. They will certainly stay locked in place. They hardly ever fall out. And furthermore, they do have a sweatproof design. All the other, it is rather lacklustre. Music playback isn't too bad, don't get me wrong. Bass is present, but it isn't heavy enough and it sounds a bit dry. The treble isn't high enough for my liking too. With the mid-range that sits a bit further back than I would prefer. When playing heavy beats, the music just isn't thumping enough, although the volume is quite loud. And you do get a lot of passive noise isolation too, which is a good point. But that is mainly because of those dual ridge ear tips and those silicone wing supports being in place. If you do swap out those ear tips to the basic ear tips that are supplied within the package, you will still get some passive noise isolation, but not as good as those dual ridge ones that were basically fitted straight out of the box. Now this is a prime example of what the microphone quality is going to be like when using that single pin microphone upon that volume control unit that sits upon the earphone wire itself. As you may tell, okay the voice is sort of loud, but it is however muffled, and there's a lot of static within the background too. Gameplay though, I must admit, it's not too bad. Surround sound is just above average. You can hear certain things such as footsteps around you when you're playing on a PS5 console, the direction of close gunfire and the movements, but isn't however noticeable to hear distant noise and sound effects such as sniper fire. Let me just tell you guys, when you do plug these earphones into a PS4 or PS5 console controller, that single pin microphone can also be used too. Although, the voice pickup is kind of low, yes. But, let's plug in that boom arm, shall we? So, as you've may have noticed, the microphone quality is very much improved. Now the boom arm is in place. And it's not that close to my mouth either. It's a good two inches or three inches away. In fact, we have actually played a few video captures back. And we are very much impressed at the voice quality. It's nice, crisp and clear. Certainly loud, by the way. With not much all distortion whatsoever really, especially when shouting like this! But overall, when it comes to say comfort, we would give them a 7 out of 10. Okay, the earphones do stay locked in place when they're in your ears. That is when that microphone boom arm isn't placed within that left hand drive unit. When it is placed in, it is an added weight and sometimes the left earphone did now and again drop out when we were walking about. Music quality, we will be giving them a 5 out of 10. Although the audio isn't over the top bad, you can use these earphones for a good number of hours. But for audio freaks and audio files out there, 
if you are all about your perfection of audio quality, you will certainly notice that these are very much out of place and do have a mixed match of audio levels. When it comes to the design, they are very cheap looking. I think they might suit kids and early teens, but if you're an adult using these, they do look rather ridiculous, to be honest. They are super bright and impulsive and don't really give you a professional look. But what do you expect for that original £10 price tag or in fact that £3 that we pay for them? For me, within that price range, I have tested out better gaming earphones, I must admit. Although the features are not too bad, I am gonna give them a eight out of 10. My overall score is only going to be a six out of 10 for these Goodman's Universal Gaming Earbuds. Now, if you want to check out some of the tech and earphones that they've got in the B&M home stores, I will leave a link to their websites within the video description down below. As you can tell because of this review, I'm not affiliated in any type of way. You are free to check that link out, but if you have liked what you've seen within this video and you think you might want to buy them yourself or three quid or whatever they're going for now, well, go over to your local B&M store here within the UK and go get yours. While you're in that video description, guys, it means so much if you please like and then share this video. I very much appreciate it. But most importantly, right now, please support this channel by subscribing. Bearing in mind though to hit that bell notification option so you guys stay updated on all our new uploads. Now it's been interesting doing some different reviews this week and this is what we're about. Doing different type of tech than what other people are currently doing right now on YouTube. But yes, thank you ever so much for watching. Hope you all stay safe and peace.